We have many other reasons to believe and to prove that NASA has been lying in every respect, uh, accepting that there is life out there, even in Mars. In 1976, they discovered through this Viking operation that there was a big possibility that there was life on the surface of Mars. I mean microscopic life. Now they have recognized that mistake. But now they have to prove again that is life there. We believe they know it. And we believe that Europe now is putting a lot of pressure to the scientists and to the government of the US to accept that there is life on Mars. Remember, on February 3rd, uh, George Bush, in the bulletin from the White House, accepted that, yes, it's very probable that we will find life in many planets. He accepted that many new planets have been discovered. And he also say, established that it was very probable that we will find life in some of these planets, even life that is, it could be similar to Earth for the first time. But again, it's just a speculation. They haven't yet accept that the life is possible anywhere else besides the Earth. What uh, facts do you think NASA are hiding from the public? with regards to uh, life which may have been already found by the Viking probes. Do you think that they have got confirmation that there is microscopic life there? Physically, yeah. we know that when the uh, Mars uh, Pathfinder arrived, they found very probably evidence of fossils in the rocks. Again, it's just speculation because they haven't released that information. But since Viking, they haven't been able to be on the surface of Mars up until the Pathfinder. And they haven't been able to conduct the same kind of test that they made in 1976. They expect to do that sooner than Europe because uh, I am very sure that they want to announce that they found life and nobody else did. We now that are receiving the first color pictures from Mars, we have been able to found green spots. And it would mean that there is life there. There are other photographs where you can see what seems to be trees or big plants over the surface of Mars. They have given any other kind of explanation 
to, to try to convince that uh, they are not plants. We don't know because we are not there in the surface. But when you learn that they lie about the colors of Mars since 1976. The color of the landscape. The color of the landscape in Mars was uh, changed, was uh, altered in order to prove that, that this was a very different planet, reddish, the atmosphere was reddish. Uh, it, it, it seems that in a place like that it would be impossible to have some kind of life. But now that uh, we are receiving new color photographs, and because there are going to be probes from Europe and Japan around the surface around Mars, and uh, the, the mission from Europe is going to land, they have to change the, their position very quick. And for that reason, we believe that now we have this chance to see these color images from the surface. And it's very interesting to see the real colors of Mars. It, it is much more similar than we thought it was to Earth. Since 1976, uh, when they received the first color photographs from Viking, they, they comment that it looked like an Arizona desert. But then people came to alterate those colors. Now they are saying that, yeah, they did it. They are accepting they did it because they thought that the real colors of Mars were reddish. That's foolish, you know. Even some technicians tried to put back the real colors when they discovered something had happened. And then some security people came and said, if you don't stop doing that, you are going to be thrown out. For that reason, we know that there was some kind of policy to make us believe that Mars was sterile and something very, very different that was from Earth. We are now getting the real image of Mars. And this is a planet that has a lot of water, even water on the surface. I mean, big amounts of water. It could have oceans. The water is underground, but there are some deposits above the, the, the ground, uh, yeah, visible. And s slowly, the investigators in the US have found these real images. And now we have a different perspective of uh, the meaning of Mars.